Good afternoon to all and welcome to our fifth session for Asia Water 2020 Technology Symposium. Before we start, there are a few rules that we would like to add here. All microphone and video of attendees have been muted. If you have any question, please wait for the Q&A session or you may listen down at the Q&A box. If there is any internet disruption during the session, kindly be patient and try to sign in again. In this session, we will have Ms. Selina Chia from Suki Sui to do the presentation. Selina Chia is too actively involved in piping and valves, material specification for various applications in the water and wastewater treatment plant for semiconductor, chemical plant, power plant, pulp and paper, F&B, and etc. Objective is to help end user achieve cost saving and reduce maintenance costs and eliminate downtime caused by wrong selection of material. With that, ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome Ms. Selina Chia to do her presentation. Ms. Selina, the floor is yours. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for spending valuable time to attend to Sikisui new product introductions. I am Selina Chia, the speaker for Sikisui Singapore. I would like to take this opportunity to introduce the first UV resistant PVC piping system in the market. PVC material will have surface degradations and discolorations if being exposed to UV ray. 
tending and bleaching will occur on the piping surface. What happening is that the chemical reactions of the UV ray has weakened the PVC molecular chain. Once the bond between PVC molecules disconnected, the impact strength of the pipes will reduce drastically. Reduced impact resistance is a major cause of pipe failure. Usually, users will protect their outdoor piping from UV ray by painting the pipes or cover the pipes with sun blind. However, this method involves high material costs, installation costs, and periodical maintenance is required. Hence, with the effort of Circuit Chemical R&D team, we have successfully developed a PVC piping that is suitable to be used for outdoor applications. We call this product as long UVS VP piping system. UVS VP piping is a PVC pipe coated with UV resistant plastic. It has a long lifespan, no painting required, and has a life cycle cost effective. This illustration shows the UVS VP pipes with the outer layer being coated with UV resistant plastic while the main pipe is high polyvinyl chloride pipes with good structural strength and high durability. Let's look at our right side. This is a comparison of normal PVC pipes and UVS pipes after being exposed to UV ray. As we can see, normal PVC pipes, the color has been changed. Meanwhile, UVS pipes, the color of the pipes and the appearance is still remain the same. This slide shows the manufacturing process of UVS pipes and fittings. The pipes is being extruded in the pipe extrusion machine and we install an equipment to coat the pipes with weather resistant raising concurrently during the extrusion process. This is to achieve a homogeneous bonding between the PVC resin and the weather resistant resin. Meanwhile, for the fittings, we send the fittings for a secondary coating process of weather resistant resin layer. And this is the outcome of the fittings. In this graph, it shows the experiment of accelerating evaluations of UV exposure up to 20 years for three types of materials, namely UVS, UPVC, and high impact PVC. We did these evaluations by comparing the impact resistance of the samples before and after UV exposure. We put these three samples into a metalling meters, metalling weather meters, and we accelerate the UV exposure from five years up to 20 years. As a result, the impact strength of the PVC and high impact PVC is deteriorating drastically even during the first year of exposure. Whereas for UVS piping, the reductions of impact strength is only 10% over 20 years of UV exposure. In this slide, we shows the comparison between normal paint versus the UVS coating. We did a cross-cut peeling test according to GIS K5600. We applied paint on PVC surface like it curled and did a cross-cut of 100 pieces. We did the same cross-cut to our UVS fitting surface. We used adhesive tape to peel off the paint and as a comparison, for normal paint, even after five times of peeling, is about 88 pieces of the paint being peeled off. Whereas for UVS, even for five times of peeling, all the cut paint still remain on the surface of the fittings. Then, we evaluate the life cycle cost. We proceed to do the experiment by accelerating the UV exposure to 10 years and 20 years respectively. 
We did the peeling test for five times, and as a result, all paints still remained on the samples from 10 years or even up to 20 years, all paints still remain the same. As a conclusion, by using, by using UVS paint piping for outdoor, you don't have to worry about the UV resistant coating being removed. Hence, no maintenance on repainting the pipes after installation. The installation of UVS VP piping is very simple and straightforward. The installation step and joining method is according to PVC piping installation method. But for this, we need to apply primer and designated solvent cement for homogeneous bonding between pipes and fittings. And this is the assembly method, which is similar to PVC assembly method, PVC pipes assembly. And for the curing time, we recommend cure up to 24 hours. And for longer cure time, it's required in low temperature or humid weather conditions. This is the array of our pipes and fittings lined up. The size available is from 20 mm up to 200 mm. And we also have items that is built to order, such as cap and nail adapter. This is the most important, interesting and important part, important part that we have to consider the cost performance of UVS VP compared to PVC with paint. We made a case study by using the piping combinations of 50A pipes and fittings. From here, we can see UVS pipes and fitting material price is almost 100% double up the price of normal PVC pipes and fittings. However, when we look into a bigger picture, the total investment, including painting work costs, scaffolding, and the painting material, we still can achieve a 20% cost saving by using UVS. And when we look into maintenance for UVS, we can prove that even after 20 years, you don't need to do any repainting. However, for UVS, for UPVC pipes repainting, after three to five years, you might need to do a periodical maintenance to repaint the pipes. Normally, these outdoor pipes will be, will be installed in a, a high level. So you need scaffolding to do the repainting work. And this adds up the additional cost on the maintenance. This shows the technical data of UBS pipes and fittings. It is similar to PVC pipes in GIS standard. Even though it is GIS standard, we can supply conversion flange for you to connect to other standard of pipes. So for outdoor, you can use our UBS VP pipes. And for indoor, you can still use other standard of pipes such as Schedule 80 and what's not. And this is the maximum allow allowable pressure of UVS pipes and fittings. And it is similar to GIS 10K pipes and fittings. So for the advantage of using UVS VP, there's a maintenance free, safe, durable, and reliable, life cycle cost effective, easy installation, and aesthetically appealing because color will not change over time. Now, we would like to end this session and open the floor for question and answer sessions. And please visit the All right.
this is the extra information we would like to introduce to you. So besides the supplying products, we also supply value added service. So um, let me introduce about uh, UV degradation diagnosis for outdoor pipes to you. So we analyze the degree of oxidization on the pipe surface and estimate the current strength of the pipes based on CQC accumulated data and knowledge. It can be diagnosed by simply scrapping off the surface layer so the target pipes does not need to extubate and can continue to be used. So the flow is as follows. Firstly, we will ask the user about the applications, current conditions, and any problem facing on the current piping. Then, Sikisu will send a sampling kit to the user to pick up the sample and return it to us. The analysis by Sikisu will take around 1.5 to 2 months, and we will send the result in the form of report to the user. And we ask the customer to take the sample, only peel off the surface layer with tools. So you don't need to extubate the pipes and the pipes can continue in service. However, the types of pipes that can be investigated are limited. So if you are interested, please contact us and visit our booth for more information. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome. Ladies and gentlemen, we have come to the Q&A session. If you have any question, please click on the hand raise function and the organizer will unmute you. Or you can list down your question on our Q&A chat box. Please make sure to introduce yourself and which company you are from, followed by your question. Ms. Selina, we have one question from the floor. The question is from Kian Hongqin. The question is that, do Sukisui has UVS for SCHAT pipe and fittings? If no, does Sukisui intend to manufacture? For Schedule 80, um, we can check with our factory regarding of uh, your requirement and we will get back to you. Maybe you can uh, pass us your contact after the technical symposium and we will discuss more about this. Thank you. Okay, Ms. Elena, we have one more question from Amy Andaya. What is the guarantee for UVS? For UVS, it depends on your applications. Um, if let's say for outdoor, you are using for chemical service, chemical transfer. So we will need to understand what type of chemical you are using. And um, with that, our factory will evaluate on the conditions. And also for um, UV protections, we can uh, guarantee based on, based on the UV index on each country. So we will provide a data to you. 
Thank you. We have one more question from the attendee. Currently, we're using PVC pipings outdoors without any protection. Will there be a problem? It actually depends on the years of service of the pipes. So uh, I would say there will be an increased risk of damage on the pipes, but we recommend you to consider a pipe diagnosis. So um, we can test and we can evaluate. This is a predictive, predictive measure we can uh, help you to do. So in other words, if there is a, uh, any risks of damage detect, detected, then uh, we will recommend you um, maybe replacing with a UVS and what's not. Thank you. Okay, uh, we have another question from Miss Annie. Where is UVs uh, being manufactured? Our pipes is being manufactured in Sukisui Japan factory. Thank you. We have one more question from Ryan Mina from Camden. Can we use it for sewage uh, treatment? Yes, of course. Okay, I guess there is no more questions from the floor. So we have come to the end of our fifth session today. We hope that, oh, okay, there is one more question, sorry. One last question from Miss Annie. What is your biggest size? 200 mm is our biggest size. Thank you. Okay, so we hope that with uh, today's uh, session, um, Sorry, actually just one more question from Ryan. How do we compare ABS and UVS, Ms. Selina? ABS, if being exposed to outdoor, I think ABS color will change as well. Once the color change, I would say the properties of the, the mechanical strength properties will also be deteriorated. But anyhow, um, maybe you can drop by our booth later. So I will get our technical expertise to answer these questions in detail. Thank you. Okay, we'll give it another perhaps one minute in case we have one last question from the floor. Okay, so I guess we have no more questions from the floor. We hope that today's session, all the questions are being answered. If you have any other inquiry, please visit the Kisui virtual booth in our virtual exhibition hall. Um, okay, but before we end, perhaps uh, Ms. Lina, you would like to answer one last question from Joseph. How PPR differs from UV?
Regarding these questions, um, can I pass back to uh, my technical team to answer this in detail? So, Mr. Joseph, we would like to invite you to visit our booth for uh, further discussions. Thank you. Perfect. So that's all from us. Once again, thank you. And please stay safe all the time. Don't forget to visit the Circuit Social Virtual Booth. Have a good day. And last, sorry, last but not least, may I have all the uh, attendees who has been uh, asking us the questions to visit our booth so we can get your details so we can follow up. Thank you.